Hey everyone, this update on the ESPN suspension of Jamel A. Hill, one of their top stars. The reason for the suspension given by ESPN was that she, for a second time, violated their social media policy when she tweeted out to her followers to boycott those organizations that are sponsors of the Dallas Cowboys. And she tweeted back that it wasn't her intent to you know, harm the sponsors or anything like that. It was more, I believe, suggestive. I, but the point is that Ms. Hill basically was exacting her well free speech rights. However, she was doing so through a media company she does not own as opposed to her own. And therein lay the problem for ESPN, which is a key NFL rights holder. What that means is that ESPN, via ABC Cap City, has spent several billion dollars to maintain the rights to broadcast NFL games. And that money has fueled the continued growth and operation of the National Football League as we know it today. So that's what happened. But, you know, Jamili seems to be cruising along, at least according to her tweets, as, you know, as, if it's another day, which probably means she has a, another engagement lined up, or maybe she's just going to go ahead and start her own media company, as I think she should do. And we do need more outlets for people to have their own voice and to appropriately do that one has to own their own media organization and I'm, when i say this i don't care what political stripe or opinion you hold the bottom line is if you want to maintain your voice you have to own the outlet that distributes your voice or or else Subscribe to Zenny62, bookmark zenny62.com, and bookmark my newest blog, oaklandnewsonline.com. That's oaklandnewsonline.com. Perfect if you want to keep up with what's happening in the Oakland, California metropolitan area. See ya.